Corporations. They prey on consumers like vultures on a dead carcass in the desert heat. Their catchy marketing ploys are harming innocent consumers in droves. Have you or someone you know been affected by advertising negligence? Has a brilliant marketing scheme caused injury to you and your loved ones? Or are you simply an absolute piece of shit who can't figure out how to achieve the American dream any other way than by suing the pants off someone who is smarter and more successful than you? At Asshole and Associates, we've made our life's work to see the justice served by going to bat for anyone that has a cause worth making money on. I mean fighting for. Why just take a look at our pending cases. Because your product doesn't in fact give you wings, and I've got a client that's got about $90,000 worth of medical bills that could use, oh, I don't know, about $13 million because of the fact that it doesn't. Oh, well, my client doesn't feel that your product was good to the last drop. In fact, we have a whole pile of evidence over here that supports that that was the most disgusting of all the drops. Sounds to me like diamonds are forever. As long as you don't buy it a beer's ring because the diamond could come loose from the setting and go down the drain the first time you wash the dishes. Well, my client tried to just do it to a pair of your shoes and now he's facing five years for indecent exposure and the possibility of being labeled a sex offender for the rest of his life. Yeah, my client wasn't exactly loving it. In fact, I wouldn't even say that he was liking it. Well, when my client opened the package, both of the tablets fell into the glass of water at the same time. Suffice to say, there was no plop plop. There was only the one plop, followed by an overwhelming amount of fizz. Where was the relief in that scenario, sir? No, these harassment charges will not hold up in court. He was simply instructed by you, his cellular provider, to reach out and touch someone. Now you tell me who is the real criminal in this case. My client's statement is the following, and I quote, happiest place on earth, my foot. Clearly, they have never visited the inside of my secretary's vagina End quote. We at the firm find no flaw in that statement. Oh, hello, Mrs. Wilcox. <laughs> Just hang on one second. Let me uh, start the meter. <laughs> okay. Uh... Mr. Jefferson, these people owe you. Changing your mind now isn't going to win me that $500,000 settlement. Win you. Yeah, why? What did I say? I sleep very well at night because I don't have a conscience. So call us today at 1-800-ASS-H-O-L-E and let us go to work for us. And together we can make sure that no company ever makes money again unless we all get a piece of it. Again, that number is 1-800-ASS-H-O-L-E. Give us a call today and we'll see you in, in court. court. Cheers. <laughs>